Texas is known for a lot of things. The Cowboys, Bluebell ice cream, and Whataburger, and being a giant state that takes forever to drive across. But where does being Asian fit into the Lone Star State? Today I'm gonna to share with you what it's like being Asian in Texas then versus now. When I was adopted from Korea 43 years ago, Plano didn't have this booming Asian population. I remember hearing stories from my mom when I was a baby, when she'd take me to the stores, of people giving me weirdo looks and even making even more weirdo comments like, oh my God, where's she from? And why doesn't she look like you? And why is her skin that color? And my mom might or might not have said something rude back. But since I was a baby, it's not like I really remember any of this. <laughs> I was really lucky that I lived close enough to all my schools so I could walk to all of them. This is the playground I used to play on as a kid, but it's a little more updated than I remember. Back when I was in elementary school, I felt like I was known as that Asian kid. And if there was another Asian kid in the class, I was known as the other Asian kid. And sometimes me and the other Asian kid were related, even though we had different parents and different last names. I guess we all looked alike somehow. But that was kind of the funny aspect. There was also the meanness factor, like the kids who would ask me why my nose is flat or why my eyes were funny or why I had big teeth. And that part of it hurt my feelings and made me feel really different. But I don't wanna make it sound like everyone was terrible. I had some really nice classmates. When I became naturalized citizen in first grade, they made me a card with the American flag and wrote congratulations and other nice messages. And I had some really nice teachers who made me feel welcomed. And maybe it was easier because my next door neighbor was a teacher, so a lot of them already knew me. Now, when I got into middle school, there was more Asians than there were when I was in elementary school, but it was still kind of awkward. Sometimes I'd still get the snarky comments about the way I looked. And when you're at the, that age, you're kind of awkward. So I feel I didn't fit into the beauty standards of being like a cheerleader or a popular girl. And I even had some adults who said some not nice things. Like I had one who encouraged the kids to make fun of me and told me I should do an Asian accent, but I didn't have an Asian accent. So I remember feeling really upset and angry, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to get in trouble. In high school, I no longer felt like the Asian kid, but I still felt uncomfortable. I didn't feel like I was Asian enough or white enough, and I felt stuck in between, like I was trying to figure myself out. And I was uncomfortable with some of the beauty standards. I didn't feel pretty, or cheerleader-ish or Barbie-ish. And I was always trying to change myself to see where I could be and you know, find myself, I suppose you could say. But I did have some good memories. Orchestra was one of my favorite times in high school. And no, it wasn't just because there was Asian kids there. I mean, there were, but that's not the reason. We just had so much fun and I felt accepted and felt like I could be myself. And we're all just pretty much orc dorks trying to figure out how to get through high school and life in general. It was hot out today, so I wanted to pop into my favorite cafe and get something cool and refreshing to drink. This is like a raspberry lemon soda. It's really sweet and sour at the same time. The Plano of my childhood is not the Plano of today. Back then, there was only a few Chinese restaurants, but now, you have entire shopping centers with restaurants, shops, and even a grocery store where you can get pretty much any type of cuisine or anything you want. We go to BBQ Chicken a lot. It's one of our favorite places. It turns out it was started in Korea. When we went to visit in April, we actually went to the one in Myeongdong twice. I came here with some friends a few weeks ago and had a girls' night. It was so good. And this is just one of many Asian shopping centers in Plano. Come here, Sherlock. Yes, good boy. Plano has definitely changed since I was a kid. It is so diverse now. I no longer feel like that little lonely Asian kid, but I can walk anywhere and see other people who look like me. Actually, Collin County is over 18% Asian population. And I'm not just talking about Chinese or Korean, but there's Indian, Pakistani, Vietnamese, Thai. I really like having everyone here and you can just go anywhere, experience the food, the culture, and it makes me really proud to live in this city and be a part of this community. Let me know down in the comments below what your experiences are living as an Asian in Texas or in the United States. I hope you enjoyed watching and until next time,